Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I just want to show you guys something really cool. Um, for those of you that have been following for a while, um, I, I'm doing videos on making your own offline RuneScape server. This is just for people that want to play offline, which is what I like to do. Um, and recently I found a 2006 build which I mentioned in my last video is something that you guys can download now if you want to download it I recommend going to rune server so the address I'll put in the description and all credit to Mr. Extremes the guy that's built this as you can see there's quite a lot of um, I'm going to show you guys the source in a second it's all written in Java and you can download it from these links here they still work if they don't work I'll try and re-upload them again Mr. Extreme full credit I have no, I take no credit for this so um, again continuing on um, what you want to do is download the files and you want to import them into Eclipse IDE you're going to need to download Java and you're going to need to download Eclipse and I will put the links to those in the description but if you're tempering with this sort of thing then you already know that but also one thing I'll point out is that there's a common bind problem that you get where you can't run these servers at the same time so if you run one server you can't run it on top of another and you'll get a bind Java message so you basically need to restart Eclipse if you work with the different source file so anyway I'm gonna run the 2006 redone server and the 2006 redone client and hopefully this will let me run this within Java and again if you do it exactly how I've done it you'll have no problems and this is a really cool this is one of my favorite versions of old school RuneScape that you can download and um, I just recommend it because it, it's really fun and um, you guys were asking for that classic old school feel and that's something that I really like so again that's um, 314 let me just um, right click and run a Java application you should get this screen and then from this screen you just want to click on the server click OK and then the console as you can see is running right now it's doing things like uh, object configuration region I'm just gonna let that do okay so it's running on our IP address and it's running on port 43594 don't try and connect to this port by the way it'll be closed so just saying this is a local server as well so I don't really know why I said that and then we want to run 2006 and then we want to run 2006 it's the second folder which is our client and by the way if you guys don't know how to import these files into Eclipse you want to go to open projects from file system here click directory and then as you can see I've got my RSPS sources here 2006 redone and then I've got everything in there that this is 2006 redone I've also got um, different sources but for now I'm just using 2006 redone anyway importing the files isn't the hard part anyway so we've imported our files and now we're gonna run we run our server and we run our client and previously we could do this with bat files but because this is a bit more advanced and it has more features we need to run it in Eclipse to, to build the Java applications <coughs> and now I'm gonna run my client and there are going to be errors but we want to proceed the launch anyway as you can see it's loading up just fine and I'm going to walk around in the world a little bit because the last um, hang on okay alright this is a good example of a teaching moment here as you can see I'm getting an error <coughs> and this is kind of why I wanted to make this video so if you're getting this error what we're going to do is run the server again and you might get this error where it says bind it's already in use okay so what we want to do is we just want to terminate it and close Eclipse okay now I'm really actually fortunate that this error happened because I can show you guys the problem that I was having and if you have this problem I just want you to to do exactly what I'm doing is just reopen Eclipse like this and then go to our server we're just going to run our server again right here run that and there we 
we go. Now, sometimes you'll have to run a file server to allow things to work. Now, sometimes you won't need a file server when you're running an RSPS client. And this one, if you forget to run the file server, then the whole thing won't work. Usually, you're going to have three parts. You're going to have file server, you're going to have server, and you're going to have your client. And if you don't run the file server, like I did, you'll get that error. And then when you try and rerun the server, you'll get that error again. So now let's run the client and see if that works. As you can see, now that I've run the file server, everything works fine. And if you can hear that, the audio started again. I've turned it down a little bit because it's quite strong. So the way I got that running, again, I did it wrong the first time. And it's the error that I kept making when testing RSPS sources because you have to do it in a certain order. And you might get the bind address one. So make sure you run the file server, you run the server, and then you run the client. And I will put those steps in the below. I just wanted to make that mistake so you guys could see it. So let's um, play this. You can sign in with any username, it will register your user in the server. Okay, I'll just you know, demo this. It's my favorite version of Old School in this game. We're at Tutorial Island. Um, and we can stay here if you want to, but I'm going to skip it for now. Obviously, you don't have to skip Tutorial Island. I quite like it, but um, for the sake of this video, you know, I'm going to just skip it for now. Again, there's a lot of stuff that's gone into this client, so um, just props to whoever sort of, well, props to um, Mr. 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 Mayhem who built this client. And this is the version of old school RuneScape that I really like. It's what runs on <coughs> the current old school RuneScape servers, but it's changed a little bit. But if you have a client like RuneLite, you can have a go. So. And again, you're going to get some problems when trying to use this. For instance, some of the sounds don't work. Um, but this is just one client that, if you want for development, you can have a go. So, again, you're going to see things down here. But as you can see, most of the crafting works. I think it's accelerated XP rates. But this is a really good sort of basic start client where um, a lot of the music will work but some of the sounds don't work so um, again give and take these things again the combat that works but on this client the sound is a bit funny the music works but some of the sound effects don't work and right clicking and left clicking are the same action but this is a really good um, basically this is a source review and I think this RSPS source is quite good um, considering that it's free and considering that um, yeah it's it's just good so okay um, so I've just demonstrated the functionality of it and um, that, that's it for now um, pretty basic one today. You run it in Eclipse. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be doing some more RSPS sources soon and uh, let me know, guys know if there's a certain version of it that you want me to cover. And uh, Thank you guys for, uh, for watching. You can just log out there. See you guys soon.